Apart from the fact it's a freaking Mario Maker game on the current gen Nintendo console, there's another ton of reasons to get excited about this game. Today we're breaking down our top 5 reasons to be excited about Super Mario Maker 2 and the entry of the series onto the Nintendo Switch, so sit back, relax and hit the subscribe button, otherwise I'll set the angry sun on you. Do you know what's even more fun than just being able to make Mario levels from the comfort of your own home? Well, if you don't, it's that as of Friday, you'll be able to continue fine tuning your amazing creations outside of the house, such as on the bus, into town, on a transatlantic flight, or perhaps for all you time travels out there, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Or, if you want to go really far back, to the first time Miyamoto said Pikmin 4 was close to completion. Ha <laughs> ha ha, Nintendo joke. Although the added portability is a point to be made with pretty much every Switch game, here it seems especially potent, due to the time you can put into each of these levels, and I know I for one will want to take my Switch outside the house with me to show off these levels to my friends. Another thing which makes the portability factor of the Switch so great with Mario Maker, is how good a job Nintendo seemed to have done with the Mario Maker in undocked mode. Using the Mario Maker interface with the touchscreen whilst the Switch is in your hands looks very well organised and easy to use. If this is the case, I could easily choose to build my levels in handheld mode no matter where I am. Before we found out about this game, a lot of the talk about what a new Super Mario Maker should be like on Switch revolved around the question, what else can they do to justify a full price sequel rather than a port? Well, on top of some of the other points we're going to explore later in the video, the features I'm about to discuss in this point go a long way into that justification. Super Mario Maker 2 includes a ton of new gameplay customizables. Apart from the fact you can have slopes, other features include claws and our thing in Mario Maker, the fact that the angry sun now has some serious competition from a much more pleasant moon, and tapping this new moon feature transports the game into a tranquil nighttime setting. But strange things can happen in this new world, including floating gumbas of really slippy ground. Clear conditions is another feature that will add a ton more depth to levels. No longer is your only aim to get from the start of the level to the end, but now there's other clear conditions you have to fulfil to complete the level, such as defeating all 19 Koopa Troopers or grabbing all 50 coins. Hopefully in the future it will be possible to add even more than one clear condition which will add further depth to the game. Vertical sub areas is another real highlight on the topic of new content and this will add a ton more exploration in the game and is a really cool tool for creators to play around with. Creators can also hide these areas from view using the new scroll stop feature. Considering there's even more I could talk about in this area really shows just how worthy this game is as a sequel rather than a port. Story Mode looks a really cool addition to Super Mario Maker, and one that I think will give the single player experience a little bit more. The game mode involves completing missions to attain coins, which are used to rebuild Princess Peach's castle. Essentially, Peach screws up, Mario jumps to the rescue and picks up the pieces. That's sort of a running theme by now. Interestingly, some of the content in Story Mode, basically a couple of the conditions such as Escorting Toad, are not currently available in the wider game, which gives this mode a little something in hand over those other game modes. This mode isn't going to steal the show however within the game, but nevertheless, I'm glad to see it's there. Moving into the top positions now, in second place on this list we've got the stuff of parents' dreams, co-op building. Yes, that's right, stressed out parents, the kids don't have to fight over who's playing Mario Maker anymore because now both can build courses at the same time, which is a really neat addition. This new addition is going to be great for not just improving the quality and speed of which levels can be constructed, but also the fun that's to be had on this game. I love games that embrace multiplayer and this local co-op mode is one of the really fascinating ways I've seen to do this. This is going to be great to play with both friends and family. Talking about multiplayer, number one today is the previously highly controversial online multiplayer modes. What's more fun than playing through levels on Super Mario Maker on your own? Well, playing through them online with somebody else probably is, unless they're really annoying. Super Mario Maker 2 allows you to play with or against other players from around the world. And, as we found out at E3, this no longer has to be against just randoms, as an update to the game will allow you to play with or against friends too. 
Seriously though, how on earth was this not the plan from the start? Who sat in a meeting, pitched the idea that you can't play online with friends and everyone else, said yeah, that sounds fantastic, that's a great idea. I love Nintendo but sometimes they make strange decisions. Anyway, that's all fixed now and the online multiplayer mode now looks incredible. Super Mario Maker 2 is set to release this Friday on June 28th and, as I'm sure you know, it's one of Nintendo's biggest games of the year. What are you looking forward to most with Super Mario Maker 2 though? And what other Nintendo videos do you want to see us cover on the channel? Let us know down in the comments. If you have enjoyed today, please do share this video with a friend, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for plenty more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video soon.